Uh, this will show how to get going on the Vagrant install. Um, so you first have to go to VirtualBox and get their uh, install of VirtualBox set up on your machine. Uh, it works on uh, OS's like Windows, Mac, and Linux, so you should be set. Uh, once you have that install going, uh, go over to Vagrant. Um, and uh, just, um, they have really good instructions for downloading and, and setting it up. Um, as, far as, as far as the installation goes after that, that that's what I'm going to walk through. So once you have those two installed, um, then all you need to do is go to this uh, GitHub repo and get the HTTP version of it to clone. So let's do that. And then open up your terminal and uh, clone that. And so now we have it. And we just type Vagrant up. And this will take um, maybe 10 minutes to build. Um, and then uh, we'll have a few more steps after that. While that's building, you then would have to update your host file. So on a Mac, it's ET. C host um, on Windows, it's LM host, and on Linux, it's etc host, and you'd have to do it as sudo. Uh, I'm gonna update a, a fake one of those just because mine's really messy. And at that point, uh, there's instructions here that just show well, you need to add this line so that you can actually connect to the Vagrant box in your um, browser window. So we'll just add that line to our host file and once the vagrant box is up and ready uh, then this URL will work in the browser. So now uh, I've updated my host file I put that particular line in there and when this is ready what that means is that this URL which won't work right now will actually go somewhere. So it's just gonna spin for a moment and then not find the page. So um, again, this build will take a little while. We're going to speed through it. Um, and then we're going to go uh, just set up um, one more setting to, to show you how to connect to your local uh, Selenium. So let's go get the Selenium server while we're uh, waiting. So here's the step about that. Now basically, all you need to do is go get um, the Selenium server we need. Uh, you can Google that. Uh, I'll post some notes as well, but it's right here. Um, and let's just download that. Let's see where we are. Oops. Now it's going to ask during the build for a password for your system uh, so it can do some extra uh, system admin level stuff like mounting, in this case, the NFS file system. So, okay, back in this other terminal, uh, we're still in this vagrant area, and we're going to go grab um, the particular. Uh, Selenium link I just put in there. And that's just a jar file, so you're going to have to have Java installed. Um, so it might take a moment to do that. Um, okay, so now that the J Selenium's done uh, downloading, we can actually run it. Um, so you just type in that command and it will start running in the background. And it takes about uh, minute to just boot up. Okay, so the build is finally done and you're back at the command line. Uh, at this point, um, you when you read about Vagrant, you'll see that you could Vagrant SSH if you wanted to. Um, I don't need to really do that right now. What we need to do though is edit the particular file that it uses. Um, to set up uh, bhat. And that is this file right here, the YAML file. And this is the folder I happen to be in. And I'll have notes on the particular path um, in, in the final docs. And we just need to add something to that file uh, to make sure that it talks to the uh, to the <clears throat> remote Selenium server. Because see, we started this Selenium server on our local machine, not inside a Vagrant. So let's open up that file. 
So when the file comes out of um, Vagrant, it's missing that setting <clears throat> just because it's not uh, the default. It, we probably will change that soon. And the file that comes out of Vagrant will look like this. Now in my case, I want it to talk to the um, the WD host, which is my machine, uh, my Mac that I'm running. It could be your Linux or Windows box. So I have to go get this IP from my particular computer. Uh, I happen to know that it's, or was that, IP that I want to talk to. And I just had to plug that in here under Selenium 2. So when this comes uh, out, it will look like this on the right. And I just uh, had to plug that in to get us set up so that it would talk to a Selenium server on that port. And again, I have a, I'll have a bunch of links because there's a GitHub gist with all this information. And then uh, the base URL. Now, um, uh, this is the site you're testing, so it's really not as important uh, because it gets replaced um, as you run a test. So okay, so now we've set up this bhat yaml file to to be uh, to talk to this particular port, and we should be okay. And I put in Safari just because I feel it's a little quicker than Firefox on um, on Mac, obviously. All right. So now, when we go to this URL, it should actually work, and we will log in. Now, the login is noted here. Um, uh, here it is, admin admin. And when you log in, um, you'll just go to the admin area for BHAT files. And we'll just show what should happen is that I'm going to add a test, run a test, and we're going to see the Selenium browser, uh, the Selenium server react. So we're going to add a test, and we're just going to click here to give us a basic uh, Wikipedia test. We'll save it for a moment. Um, Notice Sauce Labs isn't set up yet. Um, that's okay. We're not really dealing with that right now. We don't even need it in our local environment, really. So here's our test, and we're going to click Run. We're going to see um, the Java React here. And then um, the Safari browser will pop up in a new one. So now when we click this, uh, we're running the test. And in a moment, You'll see Selenium going down here, and it triggered um, Safari to open again. Let me show you again since it does uh, open in the wrong window. So there's Safari popping open. It goes to Wikipedia, and then it quickly goes away. Uh, the test ran. It just had a failing thing because it didn't have that word in there. So that uh, shows you how to now test locally um, uh, with your Vagrant Box, Selenium, and uh, whatever OS you're on.